Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I love Blender, you can call me Blenderic. This is the first part of my Blender modeling 2D cartoon character tutorial. Uh, here on this picture you can see example or kind of example of uh, what I'm talking about. So yeah, let's go. As I said, you know, this is the tutorial for beginners, but I assume that you got some like the basic basic knowledge of uh, working with Blender, which means selecting and confirming your selection. For example, now we have our default cube by 8, deselecting the cube by uh, right click to select. Yeah, If you m grab the manipulator and move it and things like that, so just the basic things. All right, so default cube selected, press X, delete, go press 7 to go to the top view uh, holding down shift a add mesh plane press 1 to go to the front view now we are in perspective view and in this we're gonna actually be using just orthographic view so press 5 to go to orthographic view press R X type 90 enter to rotate the plane it's gonna be facing up facing us in our front view right so for this uh, tutorial I'm using uh, the quick drawing I made I'm gonna be modeling the character of uh, Charlie Chaplin so I'll press N to bring the transform properties you can actually by clicking these small arrows to close uh, actually minimize them and we're gonna be using background image. It's not necessary, but it, it helps, you know, to get to have like a reference picture. So, tick this window, click this small arrow, add image, click this one, and open. I'm going to Mr. Bean pictures. Oh no, this one. <laughs> this is the fun. So my pictures and Charlie. Sorry about the mistake. Charlie left reference picture and open. And now in our front view, I've got this. But I see it's it's a it's way too big. So I'm going to change the size by clicking here. And I will type 1.5. Enter. And it's gonna resize my picture. And another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put his feet feet on the level of the red line here. So I'm gonna do it by working with Y values here, holding down shift and clicking. I'm going to move the picture to about the level of the red line, which is X axis actually. Alright, how else scrolling your mouse wheel you can zoom in and zoom out. Now grab the plane move it up to about the level of his head press s to scale and now press uh, sx to scale along the x-axis and that's it all right press tap to go to edit mode press w subdivide w subdivide twice a to deselect b for box selection tool select the 10 vertices on the left side press X delete vertices now we're going to add some modifiers so click this one this icon here and add modifier mirror modifier do clipping and apply modifier to editing cage during edit mode right and now we're gonna just start by selecting the vertex with the right click and G to grab start shaping his head all right in this case I'm going to click uh, actually all right uh, I'll add the another modifier which is subdivision surface modifier uh, set the view level view number to two and render to three take the optimal display to get rid of those extra squares we don't need to see and uh, this button as well it's gonna help me you know, to have a better idea of how it looks
so just selecting and moving the vertices around yeah that's about it A to deselect press ctrl R to add another loop cut here I'm gonna I will need later on to some faces here to create the mouth opening and uh, A to deselect B for box, box selection tool move this edge loop above his eyes and A B actually this is not necessary just move these two vertices to now select them and press ctrl E edge slide and just slide it here on the side along the X axis actually right A to deselect go to down here and press face select mode select these two faces unable clipping press E to extrude escape and scale E to extrude escape and scale again and now X and delete faces now we're gonna need add another loop cut here I like to work in vertex select mode, selection mode so control R control R add a loop cut here and right click to confirm A to deselect press B select all that and move it higher one two grab and move it so now we're actually starting to shape his eyes one and two so selecting by right, right click and selecting by holding down the shift you can select two or three more vertices how many do you need G to grab right click shift right click G to grab and we've got A to deselect tap and Z and you see what we have in here <coughs> it doesn't doesn't match exactly with a reference picture but it's not a problem at all okay so we can actually control R add another loop cut here moving things around <coughs> oops we didn't enable the clip in back all right A to deselect face select mode so like this E to extrude escape scale and maybe E to extrude again escape and scale it down scale Z uh, scale along the Z axis and press X delete faces all right it's not bad for a start oh kidoki you see uh, here now I'm gonna uh, apply the first material so press the material button press new and uh, try to select some kind of skin color press enter and rename this one to skin enter but with in this case I've got kind of outline around the eyes because that's what Charlie's uh, image used to be like so press Z press Alt and click somewhere here select the whole uh, edge loop shift Alt I mean actually with this one selected press S to scale scale it down press G come on